you wonderful lovely people out there it's Ali welcome back to my channel today I am sharing my collective craft haul for the month of May if you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more that really helps my channel grow and it's so great to see so many more of you joining the channel as the weeks go on I've started this video off a little bit differently to normal because I just felt like doing a chill soothing unboxing with you please let me know if you like this kind of format and I'll try and incorporate it a little bit more into my videos this is the mood by innocent bones subscription box it is an embroidery subscription box but also includes lots of other goodies which you have just seen this is the embroidery kit for last month I saw this kit on an Instagram ad it was tarot card themed and I just really couldn't resist it it's such a lovely kit and I can't wait to make it now we've had a look at this kit let's get back into our regularly scheduled format and I'll see you in a second well there's still quite a bit to get through isn't there <laughs> uh, where shall I start so one of the first places that I ordered from in May was Typo. They had a sale on and I've had my eye on this particular thing. This is a ceramic palette set. So you get your water pot here and then the ceramic palette to go with it. Not very travel friendly, but... And unfortunately full of polystyrene, which I'm not a big fan of. So here we go. These are two separate pieces so you get your little water bowl i like that it's got the little notches here for your brush to use as a brush stand and then the palette is a separate piece so you've got six paint wells in the palette really nice ceramic palette and then the matching bowl that sits quite nicely in there really pleased with that it's really nice it's quite heavy and i think this is going to look really really nice on my craft desk pleased with that won't be going traveling with that though <laughs> and then i didn't really want to pay for shipping so i got a few other things to go with it got this huge paint by numbers canvas which is a bunch of lemons i thought this would just be a really fun thing to do on the weekend when i just need to chill out it's all printed with the line art and then you just paint it and then in the back you get the paints and also a couple of brushes in there as well really easy the print also extends around the side of the canvas as well that should be fun to do and then the last two things are these two this is an art journal it's watercolor paper 190 gsm and there's 40 sheets in here the paper is quite thick it's not the thickest watercolor paper i've ever seen and it's got a nice texture to it it's got like a wavy pattern i can't really show you because um, the camera just keeps flying in and out of focus but it's a nice little art journal quite chunky quite a lot of sheets in there and i think that would make a really really nice sketchbook so uh that's going to be added to the sketchbook pile <laughs> and the last thing is this watercolor paint set this is a pastel watercolor paint set which obviously to make pastel watercolor shades you can just mix white but i think it's nice to just have a set of pastels um they do a bright set as well but i really like the pastel set it's a nice packaging there's a bunch of different colors in here including a white and i just thought that would be really really fun to paint with nice one to add to the collection so that's everything i got from typo i've not ordered from typo before i think they're online only and they do mostly like stationery and homeware but they do have a few little craft bits hopefully i'll get to order from them again soon I'm gonna go for eBay next because eBay is always fun. From one seller I got this set of Sizzix Tim Holtz Alterations Shadow Press. So these are, they are mini embossing folders that basically make like letterpress effect on paper. So you can see that one there says deck the halls. And it's a set of six. So you get Sleigh Ride, Holly Jolly, Jingle Bells, Deck the Halls, Wonderland and Let It Snow. I think they're a really nice size for using on cards but you could use them on scrapbook layouts as well. I think it'd have to be a card on the larger size but that's okay and then there's this that came with it now i have to say i'm not 100 percent sure what this is for but it came with it so it must be part of it i'm gonna have to read the instructions and figure out how to use it i spotted this set on amazon last year 
and I like the look of it but I think it's since been discontinued so when I saw it come up on eBay for a reasonable price I thought I will have that so I'm looking forward to figuring out what that does <laughs> and then the other thing from eBay which is from a different seller is this Derwent Graffitint paint pan set I'm quite a big fan of Derwent and I wanted to try these so when I saw one somebody had very lightly used or a bit cheaper than it would be to buy it new. I thought I'll have that. So I think this person, all they've done with this palette is swatch the colours and they've, you know, they've barely touched the surface of the paints. So the set comes with 12 colours and a water brush and then it's in a little travel palette. There's a little vellum swatch sheet there just showing you the colours because they are a little bit hard to see in the pans and then a little sponge there. So it's perfect for taking on the go. The general idea behind these is they're a graphite paint blend with colour, so you can kind of see on this example on the front, they're much more muted colours than just normal watercolour, so you can create like a really moody, interesting sort of scene. I just thought that would be something fun and interesting to have a play around with, especially for like landscapes and stuff, so yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a go. I've got a little bit of a bargain on that. So that's everything from eBay. On Amazon I got another one of these. I ran out of space in my other mini distress ink tins and I saw this one on offer for like £6.66 instead of £8.99 or £9.99 or whatever they normally are. So I just thought I'd grab one of those while they were at a good price because I did actually need one. I also placed an order with Funky Fossil Designs. Now I've had a couple of their stencils before but they actually sell their products on their own website as well as craft stash which is where i got them from before i think it's slightly cheaper if you buy directly from their site and obviously it's better for them as a small business because they don't lose like a, a cut of the price to craft stash um, because you're buying from them directly so i got three stencils and some stamps so the stencils they're not actually labeled so i can't tell you what they're called but this one is like a rough hand-drawn cross stitch which I thought would be a great background. This one is like a citrus repeating pattern, which again, I thought that would make a really, really fun background. Or you could even ink blend or use embossing paste through it and then cut each element out as well, which I think would be great. And then this one, which is like a dotty graphical one. Um, this reminded me of some of the ones from Simon Says Stamp. And I just thought that would make a fun background. These are a really good price. I think they're about three or four pounds, not too bad. And then the other thing I got is this really nice fruit stamp set, which is a slightly more unusual sort of style. Apparently it's designed by Mio Buno. Um, and the sentiments in this are, you're the zest, have a perfect day, thankful, thank you very much, and hello. And you get a pear, a strawberry, some cherries, a kiwi fruit, an apple and a lemon. They're just like clear stamps, they look like that. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Somebody asked in my comments if I would do a video showing how to do repeated fruit pattern on cards as a background. So I think I'm gonna do that with this stamp set. I think it would be nice to make like a set of cards just using this stamp set and a few other minimal supplies. So I'm gonna do that soon as soon as I get some time. So nice little order there from Funky Fossil Designs. All of the links to all of these products will be in the description box if they are available. For things that I got off eBay, I will link it on an alternative site for you. But yeah, I really recommend going and checking out Funky Fossil. They are a really cool small business in the UK that are worth supporting. And then the last place I ordered from this month was Crafters Companion. And there were a couple of things in here that I liked the look of. Just a small order this time. So these are new. These are stamp sets that are meant to be for emboss resist techniques. What they've done is heat emboss them in clear or white and then ink blended over the top. But you could easily use them the other way around. Stamp or emboss them in darker colours and colour them in. They would look really good either way. So I've got the flowers and buds and the spring blossom. Should we see if we can open this and have a look? Go for the knife. I ain't got time to mess about with that. Here we go, so it's quite a big stamp this one. I think they are A6 size. And I really like the detail on this. It's got a lot of nice detail. These would work really well stamped in dark ink as well. I think um, them suggesting that you can use it for emboss resist is a really great idea, but I think it's a lot more versatile than that. And I think they're really, really nice bits of artwork, these two, so. I think this actually looks better in real life 
than the picture on the website did. These are new, so I think these were on offer for like two for fourteen pounds or something like that, or two for twelve. I can't remember. It's fairly reasonable anyway. And then this one is the Spring Blossom set. Yeah, so again, really nice design. A little bit more simple than the other one, but a really nice spring one that you can use over and over again. So yeah, please do those. These are photopolymer stamps as well. Crafters Companion sell both photopolymer and acrylic stamps. Photopolymer tend to be, they tend to be regarded as a higher quality stamp, um, but acrylic is perfectly fine as well. I don't really ever have a problem with acrylic. It's just photopolymer is just slightly better, you know, <laughs> and usually slightly more expensive. So um, there's nothing wrong with going for acrylic if that's what you can afford. Also got this set as well. This one I have been looking at for ages uh, from the Rose Gold Collection, but it was the best part of £20 and it was on offer for four. So I thought, ah, well, I'm going to have that. <laughs> I'm not sure why it was on offer for four. I guess maybe they were just clearing out the last few in the warehouse. If these are still on the site, I will obviously link them in the description box for you. Mm, can I open this? Is the next question. So in this set, you actually get the stamp and the die. Here we go. So you get the stamp set. You get this beautiful big cake and you also get an ice cream cone and a cupcake case. And then a few like leaves and flowers and stuff. I think it's meant to have the cupcake and the cone with the flowers in which I know is a bit um, unusual but I kind of like that it's kind of cool you could put anything you want in your cupcake and your cone you know you could have little critters poking out of the top of the cone that would be really adorable wouldn't it or like critters jumping out of the cake case you know like you get those exploding cakes for your birthday I mean I've only ever seen those in movies so I don't know if they actually exist <laughs> let me know in the comments if you've ever had somebody jump out of a cake for your birthday because I would love to know <laughs> So you also get the dies to cut out most of these shapes and you get some sentiments as well. So you've got dream big, sparkle more, shine bright, birthday wishes, you are awesome, thank you, enjoy and cherish the way you sparkle. So I just really like this big cake. I think that's really pretty and you could use it in so many ways. That could be a birthday cake or it could be a wedding cake. I just think that's a really nice focal image and it is nice to have the dies. I have to say I don't often get the coordinating dies for stamps just because... I don't really mind fussy cutting things out and I do find it a little bit frustrating trying to line up the die with the stamped image. I actually find it a lot easier to cut the image first and then stamp on it but sometimes that can be a little bit fiddly as well. Or the other thing, I cut out like a mask and then put it over the top of the stamped image and then put pop the die in but I still just find it really awkward. Oh no, that's gone badly wrong. Here's an example, so these are two cards I made recently and this one's gone okay this was cut out using the coordinating die this one's not gone so well you can see that the die is not quite lined up with the edge and it's not kind of even and that kind of really gets on my nerves like <laughs> it's quite distracting so um it is nice to have that little beveled edge when you use a die um but usually rather than just risking ruining it i'll just cut it out with a pair of scissors so. <laughs> could also use my scan and cut a few of you have commented to me why didn't you use your scan and cut um because i use my scan and cut for my small business which is called swatch perfect i always have a link to it in the description box if you're interested i don't really talk about it on this channel very much because it's a makeup business and i know you guys are here to watch craft videos so it's not necessarily going to be relevant to you but i do leave it in the description box but yeah essentially that machine is in another part of the house away from my craft room and it just really just gets used for my business so maybe one day i will use it for crafting but for now it is um elsewhere <laughs> pleased with that one i'm glad that i waited for this to go on offer because i got it for like a quarter of the price of the rp which is uh, always nice and then the last thing i got from crafters companion were these tricolor aqua markers so these are water-based markers that you can use to do like watercolor effects and i've had my eye on these for a little while i originally saw them on the works website and had them on there for a bit and I was going to get some, but the ones I wanted actually went out of stock before I managed to build up enough of a basket with the works to get free shipping. <laughs> so when I saw them on the Crafters Companion site for the same price as they were on the works, I thought I'll grab these now while I can get them. There's four sets, but I just got two because these were the two that I liked. I didn't want to buy all four sets and then find that I didn't really like the markers. So I went for the neutrals one, 
which is always a classic one to have. This one's just called Essential Neutrals. And then this one is called Floral Meadow. You get three markers in here, but each marker is split into three different colors. So let's open them up and have a look. They're also brush nib markers, if anyone is interested. So you can see here, there are three separate colors on each marker. So this one, for example, you've got tulip, which is a pink one. And then at the other end, you've got jasmine, which is a yellow. And then down here, you've got rose pink, which is a dark pink. So I thought these are really clever. That they've managed to pack three different markers into a small space. If you compare these two, for example, these are my alcohol, one of my alcohol markers. It's almost the same size, but here you're getting three different colors. So if you were traveling and you wanted to take markers with you, I think this is really clever. They also do a normal spectrum noir. I think it's called tri blends, which again is the three colors in one pen. I just think this is really clever. I don't, I don't, I haven't seen any other companies do this. The only other water-based markers I've got are the Arteza ones. So I'm looking forward to trying these ones out. I think I've got a good amount of colours here that I could do some nice drawings and paintings with them. It'd be nice for landscapes. I know I haven't really got any blues, um, <laughs> but if I like them, I can always get another set. The other sets, I think, have some blues and stuff, so. And I think you can buy these individually as well, possibly. I mean, not. I can't get them back in the box though, so that's not ideal, is it? Oh, there's instructions in there. Oh, what have I done? Yeah, here we go. Oh, didn't know that was in there. Just didn't expect there to be instructions in there, to be honest with you. Here we go. So this is the little instructions that was inside. So it tells you about the markers. It suggests what paper to use. So it just says good quality watercolour paper. It says you can mix the colours on a palette or on the surface that you're using, which is good to know. And then you've got some colour mixing suggestions on the back here. And it tells you about their warm and cool colour families. So that's good to have in there. I mean, it's nice to have a little bit of information about the product. Um, even if it is, you know, quite straightforward. If you already know about your colour theory, then that might not. I still can't get them in the back of the box. There we go. So it looks like you can see that there is a name for each marker, as well as the names for the colours. So that's that's quite quite clever. So that's those two. I think those would be really good to mix with these two stamp sets. I think they would make a really nice combo. So. Um, yeah, let me know if you want me to test these out and I'll try and test them out on the channel for you. I know I always say that in my videos and I always feel really bad because so many of you say like, oh yeah, I want to see that tested out. And um, I do have them all on a list, but a lot of them I haven't done yet. <laughs> so I have to apologise. Um, I would love to be able to do a lot more videos every week for you rather than just the one. Um, but I really struggled to find the time to do them especially because my videos are so long they take a lot of time to edit everyone who has asked me to review something or do a specific video please know that i have listened and i have written it in my book and i will get around to it <laughs> hopefully at some point <laughs> so that's everything from crafters companion just a little order this time i've been keeping an eye on their new releases but i haven't seen a huge amount of stuff that has interested me lately i hope they come out with some more violet studio stuff soon because i always look forward to those releases I've just got one more thing to share with you and this is actually really really special because my friend Gareth who found me here on YouTube actually made and sent me this and it is a tool to use with a stamp positioner. So here's my stamp positioner and you essentially put your stamp in there and then you would close it like this and you would use this to add a little bit of extra weight on top. It's a lot easier to apply pressure to your stamp and it makes it really even because this is quite it's quite weighty. It's got felt on the bottom so it slides around easily you can see so you know you're not getting your hands stuck to the stamp positioner and Gareth has filled it with glitter and even put my name inside like what the dedication there so I just wanted to give Gareth a little shout out on my channel because I know he always watches my videos and he's so nice Gareth actually streams on Twitch he's probably gonna hate me for saying this <laughs> 
But if you use Twitch, then please go and follow Gareth on Twitch because he is so funny, and so lovely and so entertaining to watch. And he does a little bit of gaming, but he also does crafting. He's really into his crafts and he loves AliExpress. He's got an AliExpress supplies collection to rival mine, I would say. <laughs> So I'll put the link to his Twitch in the description box and if you can go over and say hi to him, I'm sure he'd really appreciate that. Just a little shout out to Gareth. I love you, Gareth. <laughs> So that's everything this month. I really hope you enjoyed my haul. As always, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more because I do a video like this every month. Well, I usually do at least one haul every month. <laughs> Let me know in the comments which was your favourite product and if you're going to go and check any of them out. All the links will be in the description box as they always are. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back here on my channel again soon. Bye!